So this is my Rhino screen, as you see. Let's create that surface here. And I go to Rhino surface starting from 0, 0.0. Put it over here. And if I put this surface in, what I need to do is I can need to put a surface. So set one surface. And this is my surface here. And to create some information on this surface or to create some geometry on this surface rather than this time creating a grid this time let's populate geometry within this uh within this uh boundary let's say so count let's say 150 points and seed as you might remember is changing the like randomness of this points locations you can see that and the points if we have sort of a pre-existing point we, in this case we we don't have them. so these are the boundary of our surface but how I can create sort of a, a an attractive point that's only moving in this surface to proceed with that I'll be using a component called evaluate surface what evaluate surface does if I can see it what it does with a given surface and a point, it gives us the point on that surface, normal vector of that surface, u direction, v direction, and a frame at uv value on that surface. So if you want a point that moves on this surface only, limited by this surface only, there are a bunch of ways to do that, like using vectors, points, so on and so forth, but we'll be using this time something super simple called MD slider. MD slider is a slider in which you have two values in X and Y. And if you double click to that, you can change this to 0 to 100 and Y to 100, let's say. And if you say OK, we can, we are able to, oops, we couldn't change it to, yeah, now we are able to change it. Now you see that they're ranging between 0 and 100. And if I connect this to my point, as if they are my coordinates, you see my point is moving, but it's moving super, like super small in a super small range because my domain is super small for this surface. And if you, I mean, you obviously can double click here and then change the domain based on the size of the surface, such as the length and width. However, that won't be a, a super clear solution. If we want to limit this point specifically and strictly in this surface, we can do some trick. If you right click to this and say reparameterize, and if we do this again, what we are seeing now, obviously we don't, we are not able to see the point because the point is gone to somewhere. Because if you remember, we changed this value. So if I double click to this and make it zero to one again, zero to one again, and now I can see a point that is moving in, right? And this is why this happens, because when we right click and reparameterize, we set the UV values of this surface between, not set, but remap those values between zero and one, okay? Before we don't know, but now it's zero and one. That's why we can create this uh, attractive point here. So I can group this. But to maybe preview it better, if I go to display under preview dot display, maybe I can create a point here, preview this off, create a swatch, maybe a white point here. The size can be, I don't know, let's say 250 maybe. So maybe even larger than that. So we have our point here, okay. And this point is basically, uh, this is the visualization of it. So we can group these two both and repaint them or recolor them with white. And yeah, so I can put a scribble and then say tractor point. Tractor point. And add this to group. And in the previous video, oh, sorry. In the next one, maybe, 
sorry I can go back to the previous one so this is my surface and if I if you take a look at it now what I'm seeing here is this surface and this point and in the next video I'll be talking about how to create dimensions dynamic dimensions on this uh, on these random points.